Hello everyone, this is Vicki Verley. Thank you so much for joining me for your monthly tarot scopes. These monthly mini readings offer a glimpse into what it's really like to have a personal consultation with me. A private reading is much more personal and in-depth. I psychically tune into your energy and get visions and impressions that are specific only to you. If you would like to order a personal reading from me, or check out some of the other products and services that I offer, you can do so by checking out the link below. And now without further ado, on to the reading. Taurus. Hello Taurus, welcome to your October 2014 Tarot Scope and Mini Astrology reading, all right? So let's get into it. Oh, Nine of Swords in reverse. Well, that's a card of sadness. There's been some sadness. Oh, look, a lot of swords here. They're just tumbling out. They're just tumbling out of the deck, and it's a big lineup of swords, and all of them are in reverse, too. Whew. Well, you know, if reverse cards sometimes are the negative, but with swords, <laughs> swords are kind of negative to start with, and uh, it could be, you know, sort of a positive, because it's sometimes, you know, the opposite. All right, let's have a look at this. So this whole, like I said, this whole row is a bunch of swords. Um, but in mo both, all these cases, it is a, a lesser, de to a lesser degree, I would say, all right? Because the Nine of Swords is all, all upset and crying and tearing and everything. This is like, um, you know, I'm not, it's not as bad anymore. It's passing. And this is also like something's been coming back to me that's been taken away. I'm feeling stronger. Before I was feeling um, depleted or uh, something's taken away from me. And it's more like um, integrity. It's, 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 it's not tangible things normally. It's more like pride and integrity. Uh, and it says something's coming back to me. So I'm getting back. I, I feel like it's a recovering from this. There was some trauma. There's obviously some trauma, clearly, right? And, um, you know... Uh, it seemed like it was like it had to be, like this is insurmountable, I can't go on without this, or it's just got to be this way. And now it's just like, you know what, maybe that doesn't really matter to me as much anymore. Maybe I don't need to hold on to these things so tight anymore, you know, and um, this tear thing is very strong, and it's like how you feel after a good cry. You know, that's almost what the energy of this is. Like I was having this good cry, and now I feel cleared out, and I am in silence, and I am uh, getting wisdom, and I am, my perspective is changing, okay? And note that we do have air sign people here, too. So there could be air sign people involved in a negative way. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, this could be some woman and her kid, maybe. Or maybe this is somebody you knew since childhood, or something like that. Or some of you may have issues with custody battles, this could even be. But note that we are in air during October. We are in Libra for, you know, three weeks of the month. So this could be stuff that's still lingering only in the, the first part of the month, and then it, it'll clear up. And it definitely does look like it's clearing up for you, okay? And, some, and it's saying, like, stress is... One of the things that's happening here is some money news is coming for you, and it's going to leave some stress. And the Seven of Cups is here, too, so that's like... Um, your dreams are coming true, but kind of in a big way. It's just like, oh, my dreams are coming true. Uh, uh, this this job or this project has all the things that I was wanting. You know, it's whatever. You know, it's close to my this, and it's this way. It's convenient for this, and it's in a good neighborhood. Da 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 da. da. You know, um, there's things. Everything about it kind of links into you, uh, what you were wanting, and it's good. And there's also talking about down here. You've got this succeeding as the craftsman. Now this is a pentacle card and it's a money card, but it's not really a, it's one of the pentacle cards that has very little to do with the money. It has more so much more to do with him loving what he's doing. He's got all his tools out here and he's polishing this and measuring it to be perfect. And yes, he's accruing uh, wealth. There's money piling up behind him, but he doesn't pay much attention to that. He pays attention into doing quality work and following his passion. And it's like that do what you love and the money will follow. Uh, but these cards around it here are really nice. It's talking about Six of Rods getting some kind of big recognition for something that you do like this. And, you know, um, all you Tauruses usually are very creative. So it could be with some, one of your creative endeavors. 
And again, it might with this card. This card has nothing to do with money, really. It's accolades. It's getting the acknowledgement, getting the spotlight shine, shine on you, which is what's standing out to me. When this back sun thing stands out to me, it's like the spotlight's on you. But it's deserved. It's because you've taken this time to be so meticulous and careful and loving, put so much love into it. And it's acknowledged and it's deserved. Um, so this, there's stuff here about that. There's money coming. There's acknowledgement coming for your baby here, your, your creative baby thing here. Um, and then the moon card does show up. So that's your intuition and everything. But the moon card in this case is really relevant because we're having the eclipses this month. So maybe referring to that lunar eclipse on the 8th could be a key date for you. Uh, there does seem to be a little bump in the road besides all these happiness cards. You've got Knight of Pentacles in reverse and Wheel in reverse. So, uh, Knight of Pentacles, you know, Pentacles is usually a person. The court cards, rather. So, Pentacles, Earth, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. In reverse, somehow an obstacle to you. Somehow not making things work out right for you. Um, wheel in reverse, though. So it's like, it wasn't meant for you anyway. Wheel is, is fate and destiny. And when it's in reverse, it's like, well, so what? He wasn't the right match for you anyway. Is it a love relationship? Possibly. Well, Earth, your Taurus, maybe it's you. Maybe you are off your path, off your wheel, off your path here. But I'm feeling more a case of the timing not being right. Because I feel like this is something you've always done or been doing for years and years, you know. Maybe you have been playing music for years and years and then finally you get some kind of break or you get to go play with or some really good band that wants to hire you or your art gets shown in some gallery, you know, or you get a show at some prestigious venue or, you know, something like that. You know, this, that's the vibe. It doesn't feel like um, out of the blue. And Taurus is, you know, you're in it for the long haul. That's Taurus energy, man. You're, you're, you know, slow and steady wins the race. You know, that's Taurus for sure. All right, well, let's take a look at this chart because we've got these eclipses happening and we want to take a look at how that's going to affect you guys. Um, the first thing is the full moon eclipse in Aries on the 8th of October. And that's in your 12th house. Full moon in the 12th is pretty intense. Now, again, these eclipses are more powerful because they last for roughly six months as instead of just one month, okay? So, yeah, full moon in the 12th, definitely that's the subconscious mind. That's your ancestors and people reaching out to you, too. You know, your guardian angels, your spirits, people who have passed over. You may have some connection with them. It could be a dream. Definitely a day to note your dream on and around that uh, full moon. But also... Um, you know, you may want to ask for some help from these guys, from these spirits and angels that you have uh, looming around, and be on the lookout for those little signs and synchronicities. It could be something like that happening, and full moon, you become aware of it, okay? Second thing is a new moon in Scorpio on the 23rd in your seventh house of partnerships and intimate relationships and open enemies. Uh, but I like that for you. So, well, relationships, you know. Great day to forge any kind of partnership. Could meet somebody on or around that if you're single, looking. Could meet somebody. Um, and it would be, seventh house is a long-term partnership. It's not the fifth house of just a, maybe a fling. This could be something really real. I don't know about meeting people on the eclipse, though. <laughs> well, it'd be powerful. It could be powerful, right? Um, but uh, forging a new uh, partnership, a new... Um, you know, collaboration, if you are a creative, like we were talking about with the cards, so maybe there's some kind of creative uh, partnership or alliance for you. All right, so let's get out these animal totem cards and see what they have, they have to say for you, Taurus. I almost said Scorpio. Uh, for the month of October of 2014. I think I have more than one here. I do, so I'm going to keep going. I only want to get one card, please. One animal totem. All right, here it is. The Scarlet Macaw. Hmm, that's an interesting one. Okay, as always, if you're interested in animal totems, you can look this up on your own. But in the meantime, I'm going to do my little take on it, so stay tuned. I'll be right back with that. The Scarlet Macaw is the messenger of the star people and the harbinger of heightened perception. The Scarlet Macaw lives a very long life, so things starting now could have major longevity and endurance in your life. Okay, before we go, I want to talk about the, the book Tarot in the Modern World. I know many of you watch these videos are kind of learning how to read tarot. And if that's the case, this would be like the study guide or the companion guide. It's a book on tarot, really easy to understand, upright and reverse. Um, a, gives a little section about relating it to other cards, as I do in the reading. 
and a little poem to help you remember it. Really um, easy read, inexpensive, available on Amazon. You can find the link below. Also, uh, many of you didn't know these the designs in the background on my channel. These are from the Tapestry of Life Mandalas. And these are art that I do that comes from your astrological chart. It's a labor of love. It takes many hours to do it. Um, each one has cool designs and imagery in it, and there's things, I give a little report of what I see, but I'm sure that um, many of you would see things there as well. And of course, my other channels, I have the kids' channel, Vicki Verley, but it's under Learning Songs for Kids, and if you have kids or and would like to turn them on to some of my music, and I have some holiday music there, if anyone would like to record it. And of course, my VV Creative Shorts, where I do um, other music, some music keyboard player and some other more rock oriented music that I've written if you want to check that out or somebody would like to record that. Um, and I want to thank you all for donating and liking and sharing and commenting on, on the videos and people who are signing up for readings. I appreciate all of you very much. Remember that you are love and beauty incarnate and I'll speak to you soon.